to the channel. Today we have another Marvel Legend action figure review. This one is Mora McTaggart from House of X, a uh, comic book storyline, and it is part of the Marvel's Tri Sentinel Build a Figure Wave. So here's a closer look at the packaging on the side, closer look at the back, same artwork on the other side, top and bottom. So let's take her out and get a closer look. So as you can see here, she comes with the left leg for the tri signal build figure. So she comes with quite a few accessories. Uh, there's another head sculpt. Pretty cool design on that one. I guess she comes with an anchor shift or a scarf or whatever you want to call it. She comes with a book. And two extra arms. It's pretty cool. So let's take a closer look at that head sculpt. I think Hasbro did a good job with this one. It's a nice head sculpt. Uh, one little paint spec hair on the glasses but other than that uh, everything else looks great look at the lab coat back and there is two peg holes at the front of the shoes which I really wish uh, Hasbro would put stands with these uh, female characters some Marvel Legends are bad enough as they are to get them to stand but look at these tiny feet little tiny shoes and get them to stand first time as a challenge, but uh, get them to stand on the shelf for an extended period of time without falling over is even more of a challenge. So definitely have to invest in some uh, some stands. So our lab coat comes off. Uh, not the easiest one to get off, not for me anyway. So I'm going to try to pop her arms out and put the other ones on. All right, so here she is with the lab coat removed and the other arm switched out. So that you can have two different looks for the same character. Hasbro did a good job with this head sculpt as well. Uh, very clean. I do like the design. Well, I did check it out before I did remove the other arm, so our articulation is going to stay the same. Uh, there is still pretty decent movement in this, so it's not uh, articulation doesn't change a whole lot. Our head goes down, back. There's no movement side to side. It does go all the way around. Our arms go up this far, all the way around. Single jointed elbows for both both arms and her wrist goes all the way around and back and forth for both sides there is an ab crunch that very restricted going forward but it does come back a little bit not a whole lot of range of motion for this one there is no waist swivel but there is upper thigh cut so her legs does spin around she has double jointed knees her legs come up this far <laughs> and back this far so almost like Marvel Girl very restricted body dress her ankles go forward this far back this far and pivot all the way around so that covers articulation so very cool figure so before I switch her back let's have one more closer look at the overall appearance and overall design Very clean paint application on the hat as well. Usually, sometimes, uh, usually when it's white, any white parts on figures do have a bit of paint uh, smudge or dots from from other colors. So, it is a soft plastic on the bib, and this anchor shift or a scarf, whatever you want to call it, uh, is very soft material as well. She does have earrings. Not sure if you can pick it up in the camera or not with the lighting. So very cool fair amount of detail so here's one more closer look with the lab coat so she has two pins or three pins two blue and one black very cool material it's very soft bendable I think it's a pretty cool figure something different from Hasbro 
whether I'm going to keep this one or not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I might do a custom, do a head swap. We'll see how it goes. One more closer look at science book, journal. One more quick look at scarf. So that pretty much wraps it up. Don't want to take too much of your guys' time. Overall, I will give this figure a 8 out of 10. There is limited movement with the legs. I know I did score Marvel Girl pretty low. Uh, but this one comes with a lot of accessories and the fact that you can change out, take out the lab coat, and they do have an extra set of arms and two different head sculpts and a book. A lot of accessories that kind of make up for uh, lack of articulation. Overall, design of the figure is pretty cool as well. So that pretty much wraps it up. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment below to let me know what you think about this figure. If you enjoy our reviews, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our new videos. Keep collecting and stay safe.